Hey there guys, Bubble Gamer here, and today we're working in Brave Frontier, and we are going to be doing some Colosseum. So first, we have three arena battles to go through, and get Colosseum tickets for, so that'll be fun. Here, give me a sec to mute the game on me. There we go. So the current meta for Colosseum is one that's really frustrating, and that would be the Mifun SP skill meta. If you don't know what the Mifun SP skill meta is, it's basically where you choose a leader that boosts either dark attack or normal attack may hit all foes, and you fill a squad with Mifuns. Now I'm a culprit of this, I only have one Mifun though, I'm working on the second one, because there has to be some way to fight this meta, and it's basically fighting fire with fire. Whoever can strike first, whoever has the most health at the end, is going to win. So, there are a few units out that are kind of good against the Mifun meta. Um, Izuma specifically, who just came out, I think she did a video on how uh, well she counters the Mifun meta. But aside from that, there isn't really much that you can do about it. Your Angel Idol units are going to get bypassed because the attack power is just so high. And there's really nothing you can do about it. You can choose to use mitigation leaders, um, dark mitigation leaders. I know Reviora has a 15% dark mitigation. I don't know ab about Omni Arc. I think he has 10% all around mitigation, but that's probably not going to do much against a Mifun. So, Reviora might be a good bet. His leader skill also boosts uh, BB Gauge when a certain amount of damage has been taken, which is also very good. So we're in the squad setup right now, we need to put spheres on my units. I have LeBaird in the attacking team, just because he might get his Brave Burst up and I might need that extra turn, and he does have a very good mitigation buff, so I'm using him. For the defending team, I have... I forget his name. Ah, uh, I know what it is. No, I don't. The, uh, the Thunder Taunt mid, whatever, Diamos, that's his name. I have him as my leader for the attack, not the attack, the HP defense boost and the Brave Burst on attack. And he also negates all status ailments, which is a huge, huge factor in, um, in Challenge Arena, because if your unit gets cursed or paralyzed even, you are basically put out of commission for that unit, and generally the units that survive are the ones that get paralyzed or cursed, so the Zelena or the Phoenix or the Altor that you need to survive so badly and use their Brave Burst, they're not going to be able to. So, realistically, for defense, you should have someone there that can defend against status ailment. Yeah. So this first battle, it was a pretty simple one. Uh, the guy didn't have any angel idol units, didn't have a very good attacker defense, and I think he might have switched out one of his units or not had enough cost because he was missing a unit in each of his battles. Sirius is a good leader in terms of general leaders, but um, as far as challenge arena goes, he he's only all that useful for his attack buff. And, like, the BB attack, sure, it can be helpful, but at the same time, you have to think about um, the defense section, I guess, the defense battle. You have to think about how much of a detriment you're putting on your units by using a damage buffing hero instead of someone who can give them a little bit of mitigation to survive that first turn. So we got through that one, got a few points. I think it's this next one that's particularly painful. Let's see who the leader is. Oh yeah, yep. So here is a prime example of the Mifun meta. You have a unit, Magris, who buffs Dark Attack, and then you have three Mifuns in the squad. Thank god I got two of them down, because if I didn't, I probably would not have survived this first round. So generally you'll also see them put in a Selena or a Phoenix or someone else who has an Angel Idol buff, and that's just in case that their Mifuns don't work out. You might think that, oh, one Selena, what's that going to do? But um, the majority of the battles that you win with Angel Idol buffer units, it's probably just going to be Selena standing. You'll see later on in the video. And I got 
super, super lucky here that the Mifuns didn't, um, the Mifuns normal attack on all foes didn't proc. And I got super unlucky because, uh, well, you'll see. So, Selena didn't use her brain first, Altor didn't use his brain first. And now it's free reign on my units who don't have their usual head offs anymore. So, needless to say, we did lose this one. You can generally tell whether or not you're going to win or lose a battle immediately in it. Um, you'll never know exactly if you'll win, but you can tell if you're going to lose. So, you know, that's why that give up button is there. <laughs> We're going in. Third battle against an Avani leader. The Avani leaders are pretty scary, especially with the Mifuns, because that means if the Mifu procs, he also gets a ton of battle crystals for his team, and that is scary, because you don't want that for the team. Right there, we cursed Miku, thank god. And Mifu procced against Selena's, what's it called? Angelito buff, so that was immediately wiped. Good for us. First battle, all enemies down, full HP, what could go wrong? Well, that could go wrong. So there Mifu propped, uh, their Avani leader gave him a higher hit count too, so they get full Brave Burst, but they didn't do as much damage as we did in that first round. The e Each of us had 500% HP left, but I did more damage, so I won the battle. So sometimes the Mifu uh, squad can be a blessing and a curse. I think this next battle is also kind of rough. This next battle is very rough, I think. So something else you'll see is Ease Leaders. Um, Ease was like the same idea of Mifu, except earlier on. He has one small hit that takes the unit's HP down a little bit, and then one super huge hit that will generally kill a unit depending on what spheres and what leader skill there is. So that can bypass a Selena, Angel Idol, uh, Phoenix Angel Idol, and just bypass Angel Idols in general. So he won the first round, 500% HP, what could go wrong? Don't think they're Mifun fully procs, there we go. You can see my Magras actually survived that Mifun's attack, which was insane. Then we do more damage because we're a defense squad. But here we get Altor and Selena. I think almost entirely up for both of them. And Selena uses her attack. Saves the day. And this, this was a very this was, this was insane, because if Ease had chosen to beat up Selena, we might not have won. And there we go, Selena, standing on top. As I said before, sometimes it's just the Selena left. So we won that, perfect victory. And this next one I know for a fact is rough. I almost quit. I almost pressed the give up button immediately into it. Because this is a very well-rounded team. Um, Azurai doesn't seem like he could be too much trouble, but really he is a lot of trouble. He's just a mess to deal with. So I was hoping LeBaird would proc here, just so that we could maybe get some mitigation. LeBaird doesn't proc very well in Arena. I don't know what type he is, but he's a type that just does not want to proc. So. But we have 400 health, 400% health, and here's where it gets nightmarish, because they have Kyle as their leader, imagine that. Uh, one of the raise, or not raise normal hit count, um, normal attack on all those leaders, Kyle is a free 6 star unit that came out a little bit ago, and he is very useful in the lower level Coliseum, I didn't expect to see him here. I expected to see the dark unit that does the attack, but I mean, whatever makes the team work, so we got uh, every kind of rep there. <laughs> so, I hope this was helpful to you. It's, I, I know it's always helpful to see battles up 
in higher ranks just so that you can figure out who's doing what. And um, for the rest of the video, I'm just going to go through and get the rewards that I need. And other than that, I hope you guys have super good luck in Coliseum. Hope you don't run into too many Mi Food teams, and if you do, I hope you win. Other than that, Little Gamer out. See you next video. Bye bye.